Former grillman. And he rose to become chairman of the board of the most famous fast food conglomerate in the United States, as well as in the world, the international arena. Fred Turner was born in Des Moines, Iowa in 1933, the son of a driver salesman on a bread truck. During his teen years, Fred held odd jobs to help his family, clerking at a drugstore and delivering dry cleaning. But he still found time to make the all-city football squad, and he played the lead in a high school play. For three years, Fred studied pre-med at Drake University, but decided it wasn't for him. To help support himself, he drove a cookie delivery truck for his father, who eventually fired him for trying to drive a nine-foot truck under a seven-foot bridge. In 1956, following two years in the Army, Fred had his eye on a McDonald's franchise after he'd spent eight months flipping burgers at a local McDonald's. But founder Ray Kroc recognized Fred's talent and hired him on the corporate side. Fred fell in love with the job, became operations vice president before his 26th birthday, and is widely viewed as the chief builder of the modern Golden Arches. However, he's quick to give credit to his mentor, the legendary Croc, whom he calls a rare bird who brought out the best in people. Fred is proud of the growth of McDonald's under his stewardship, from 1,000 stores when he became president in 1968 to almost 12,000 stores in 54 countries in 1991, making McDonald's the world's leading food service organization serving 20 million people a day. He is also excited by expanding international markets, especially Russia and China, where a store has just opened. Fred counsels young people today to use common sense, trust your instincts, and do something you really like. You're so much further ahead if you're in something you enjoy. Fred is past chairman of the board of Ronald McDonald's Children's Charities, founded in memory of Ray Kroc, and an active fundraiser and participant in Corporate Community Schools of America, the McDermott Foundation, and the Chicago chapter of the Multiple Sclerosis Society. Last year, he was named Ad Man of the Decade by Advertising Age for the role he played during the 1980s in solidifying McDonald's position as one of the world's most successful, respected, and emulated marketers. For his ingenuity in business and his example to others, we are pleased to welcome into the Horatio Alger Association of Distinguished Americans, Fred L. Turner. Presenting the award to Mr. Turner are Horatio Alger Association members Robert Dedman and D.B. Reinhardt. Well, thanks to uh, Ronnie and Bob, this is uh, special, unique. I feel proud and humbled to be recognized. It's especially meaning to me because the late Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's, was given this award 19 years ago. Ray was my teacher, my mentor, my friend. And to me, Ray was the personification of the Horatio Alger spirit. Not just because he <clears throat> came from humble beginnings, overcame adversity, and made his dreams come true, but because he helped so many other people achieve their dreams. And Fred Turner was one of them. This evening, I'm representing thousands of my partners in McDonald's. My fellow employees, our suppliers, and our franchise owners. For, e 
each of them independent entrepreneurs making their own dreams come true. I wish I had a a success formula to share with the uh, students tonight, a magic wand I could wave. I can only hope that you discover a few of the things in your lives that I was fortunate to find in mine. Enjoy what you're doing. Life's too short to not like what you're doing. Try to be the best you can be. Focus, concentrate, trust your instincts and your common sense. It's no accident that McDonald's takes the hamburger business more seriously than anybody. Give and you will receive. Open a door for somebody else. The more you share, the more you will have. Finally, don't make a living, make a life. The possessions you gather do not define you. It's the people you know and love that count. The people in my life that made me wealthy in more ways than one. The common denominator in this group tonight is that we didn't get here alone. We have many people to thank. On my list, my mother for her values and compassion, my father for his work ethic and self-starter seed, my wife Patty for her confidence, my daughters for their love, McDonald's for the opportunity, Ray Kroc for the inspiration, Joe Post, who's here tonight, who introduced me to McDonald's, the directors of McDonald's for their support, and most important, several million crew people, students, working moms and seniors, and last but not least, Ronald McDonald for, and uh, Mayor McCheese <laughs> for making it fun. Thank you.